Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I, as you can see, I am using my webcam. So, I have not been actively filming much reptile or animal or uh, I guess wildlife related stuff. So, I'm just going to talk uh I'm just going to talk about the updates. I'm going to get you guys up to speed and then show you guys some other little things that have happened uh so i'm gonna start off with just telling you guys that i do have some bad news but first um my main focus right now i've been all putting all my time and energy on to my my paranormal investigations and also on my shadow corpse channel doing reactions I was doing just music reactions on that channel and now I'm also doing paranormal related reactions as well and I'd like to do more on there as well um, so that's where I've been that's why you haven't seen much from me here um, I honestly I don't know what else I can show you guys here I kind of feel like every video I do is just the me feeding my my animals and I don't know I feel like every video is the same video essentially and I don't want it to be that so that's another reason why I kind of stopped I kind of just I got, I got bored with it and I, I, I feel like you guys would be bored just seeing the same stuff over and over again so that's where I've been. I'm doing great. Um, let's see. The snakes are doing great. Cosmo, my leopard gecko, she's doing fantastic. I told you my snakes are doing great already. Franklin, my Central American wood turtle that I was worried about. Um, he has been eating like a champion. He's actually behind me. Oh, this side, right? In that corner right there in his water uh, you guys can't see it because right behind me but um, he has been doing amazing he's been going in and out of his water on his own he has been eating uh, both greens and insects he loves his mealworms and I got him some night crawlers so and he absolutely has been crushing them he has been super active and i don't know for the last like two years he was just sleeping in the same spot all the time and he wouldn't eat i was really worried and i was expecting to lose him quite honestly so i'm very glad that um he came out of a shell i guess so to speak he you know i really think he was in his own he was depressed or something. He was in a turtle depression, I guess. Uh, I, at least that's what I feel like. I don't think he was sick or anything. I think he was just so depressed. I That's what seems to me what, what was going on with him. That's the only possible explanation that I can find uh, to really explain that period of time that he went through. Uh, I just found it really bizarre, but I'm so glad that he's doing well now, and he's been my little buddy, and he's doing fantastic. Lars, the Russian tourist, he's doing fantastic. He's a little brat. <laughs> he love him, though. He gets into, uh, well, he doesn't want to stay in his enclosure, so he'll, he'll dig at the side until I let him out, and then I let him out. And he'll find like a corner. He'll go into like a corner somewhere and just doing the same thing and just keep trying to dig. It's like, dude, you can't keep doing that. Like you can come out, you can chill, you can walk around, whatever, but you can't just keep trying to dig. Like, I mean, all that is for in his enclosure and he, he tries to, he, he digs upward in the corner like he's trying to get out. He does dig and burrow up in in the corners when he's like goes to sleep 
his enclosure, but so he's a pain in my ass, but I love him and you know the things we do and deal with for the animals that we love, right? So you probably have realized that I forgot one animal and this is the the bad news. Uh, unfortunately, about a month ago now, Cookie, my crested gecko, did end up passing away. Now, it was right when we were dealing with a lot of extreme heat. And I feel like it was because of the heat. That's the only possible explanation that I can think of or find. Um... This, this summer it has been brutally hot here. Um, finally it is now since cooled off. However, um, those hot days, I was doing my best to mist the enclosure down. Uh, I always try to do it normally uh, in the morning and at night, minimally, minimally, on a normal day, not on a high heat day. So on um, these high, high heat days, I, I've been doing it more. And at the time Cookie passed away, I have been really busy making my videos for my paranormal channels and I also have a new history channel as well that I've been working on. So I've just been really busy and I haven't really been home a lot or I wasn't home a lot. I am now been home more, but I think uh, I will take part of the blame for that because I was just so busy and I wasn't home to miss enclosure down as much as I probably should have. So that's uh, that part I will take the blame. I don't know if that would have made a difference or not. However, I will just say that I probably could have done more missing on that. So. That's the sad news. At this time, I don't know if I'm going to get another, another Crested Gecko. I'm do, going to do something else eventually with that enclosure, but right now that's not my main focus. I have more important things to focus on now. Um, honestly, I think I'm kind of just not going to get any more animals for the time being uh, especially since bec I'm technically not supposed to be having them here and whenever they need to come in here for something for inspection or something which they do every three months to look for bed bugs which whatever it's annoying because I have to take all my animals and put them in my closet just for them to come in and out in less than five minutes. So, yeah, that's a pain in the ass. So I'm hoping that I could move somewhere and then I don't have to worry about that. So right now I'm not trying, I'm not trying to get any more animals. Uh, at the time being, I'm just focusing everything on every one all of my animals that I currently have and then I'm focusing on all my other YouTube channels my paranormal stuff I'm going hard on right now and I told you I'm also working on my shadow corpse channel as well as my new history channel which I haven't done anything on in a, like a month because I haven't been able to finish those videos yet I'm I got three videos over on that channel that I'm working on so uh, that's under the elms i will uh put it in a link below uh, i'll put all those channels in the link below so you guys can go check that out now enough of me talking and yammering on now you guys are all caught up on uh what i've been up to now actually earlier tonight actually i was out investigating and I came across uh, a, a little ringneck snake at this uh, location that we were investigating. So I'll put that clip 
in here next. So I'm here, paranormal investigating this bridge, this covered bridge right here. And we found this ring neck snake here. I wasn't expecting to find this little guy here, but he's right here along the roadway and almost had a car run him over. But it looks fine, so we're going to, I'm going to safely move him to the side of the road. And he's under my K2 meter. <laughs> A ring neck snake. Ring neck snake. Yep. Yeah. Harmless, non venomous, basically same as a garter snake. Nice. Eat the same things. Slugs and bugs and stuff like that. I actually had uh in my old place I used to live at up on I found a bunch of baby snake baby ring neck snakes yes. in the backyard. That's cool. Yeah. So, very friendly. Here, let me. You go, bud. You go, bud. <laughs> very wiggly. I'm going to just let him go off the road so he's safe. There we go. It's me again from the future. Well, after. I have been trying to find stuff to add to this episode for so for about a few weeks now anyways. Any uh and I just I don't have anything to add to to that. However, this next video, it's going to be over an uh an hour long video by the way. It's going to be a long one. But I was actually filming this for my history channel and my paranormal channel. Uh, I'm still not quite done with it yet. However, uh, I can share what I currently have here anyways. And that way uh, you guys can see that. And uh, it's just something for me that I can uh, upload here and show to you guys. Because I'm not really doing a whole lot... Uh, animal related stuff at the moment that I can show you guys uh, or that I've been filming anyways and uh, I just just to keep something uh, going here so just keep in mind that that video is uh, so we're exploring an old abandoned it's gonna be the next video after this uh, I'm exploring an old abandoned uh, town well I, I, it was moved in the 1930s for flood control so it's a lot of uh, it's a more uh, of a historical location here in New Hampshire it's called Old Hill Village so uh, I can't wait for you guys to see that uh, it's not you know really animal related but it's outdoors so uh i guess it still fits with this channel and it's something cool that i can show you with you guys so uh, look forward to that after uh after this video so that will be the next one and uh thank you guys for being here for sticking around uh like i said in that first video clip that you saw on this video I'm focusing all my time and effort on my other channels right now so uh, I don't know how much I can find keep finding to do to upload here uh, when I if I feel like I got something interesting to show you guys and I'll definitely upload it but I can't uh, I can't stick to like one video every week like I was uh, it's gonna be pretty sporadic whenever something comes up so i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and i will see you in well you'll see the it was actually filmed a month ago now uh the exploring old hill village but uh that'll be the next video i'll see you in whatever video comes after that one peace